today's experiment. We're going to observe how plants grow and how God made each one unique from the very start. First, we need to mark each jar with the type of seed we'll be planting in it. Here's a fizz tip. You can write directly on the glass jar with a permanent marker and easily wash it off when we're done. Next, let's dampen the paper towels. We'll fold them in half and push each one into the jar. Here's another fizz tip. Be careful not to soak the paper towels. Our next part is to carefully push the seeds down into paper towels along the wall of the jar so the seeds are secure. But let's make sure the seeds are visible through the glass. After all, we need to see them to observe them. Now, we'll place the jars somewhere warm like a windowsill. Sunlight is important, but we need to avoid too much direct sunlight. Then, we're going to keep the paper towels damp by putting a little water on them every day during the experiment. And over the next week, we'll observe the jars and collect our data. And now, we practice patience. Here we are now on day six of our experiment, and it's time to collect our data. First, what do you observe about each seed? Which seed sprouted first? And which seed has the longest sprout or the most growth? And here we are again on day 12. Let's observe. That looks like a hand is growing out of it. Because it looks like it's five hands, fingers, and that it's like pinching, trying to wow. get itself out. Wow. What's interesting is each plant is very unique and different, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. You can now transplant, which means to move your seedlings to a pot with dirt and continue to let them grow. Do we have a pot of dirt with us? Right here. You then may eventually be able to harvest, which means take from the fruits or vegetables of your labor. 